last time, the last video that you watched, if you haven't seen it, if you if you just dropped in, highly recommend you checking out this first video of this uh, series. Uh, this is a huge project series, as you wouldn't know what the freak I'm doing. But anyway, the last video which um, you watched, I will I did the actual the power side of it, the main side of it, and all the power circuitry here. So that's done. Now I need to start just building up the audio circuitry, just uh, wiring the modules together and everything. So you know everything is fine. And also I have here Wayne, the Sidbox dude, who's actually uh, sorting out the the secret, uh, the extra pin for a secret function, which will be in future. <laughs> you know, we don't want to release it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll keep quiet. <laughs> so basically, he's attaching a couple of extra pinpoints. Uh, sorry, pinpoints to extra switches, so that you know you can have the Sidmo box can have more functionality, so you can have more hardware buttons, you know, and so forth. Don't forget to check out PCB Way if you're looking for custom PCB Way circuit building. I checked out their PCBs and found them to be of excellent quality, and I'm indeed considering them for a future project sometime. And judging by just how surprisingly fast the goodie bugs with their PCBs got to me, I know they have a fast service. So yeah, I'm gonna continue here and just start installing the circuitry, more of it. So this board here, which I created, was is the switcher, sorry, for the input switcher. So one will be aux, auxiliary, and the other one will be the sit box. So the set box will be the main one. So I'm figuring input one. Main one as in, you know, the the relay will be at its resting state. That'll be the main one. Because, you know, it, it won't use any, it won't drain any power from the battery if it's a battery. Because I've what I've done is all the relay switches in the circuit, I've put the most, the thing we're most likely to use, uh, I'll commonly use as you know, the resting state of the relay, so there's no energizing of the relay that's draining. Okay, so the um, power to the input switcher goes from the main switchboard, the multiplier here. And then there's a switch here, which switches between tape in and aux in. So there's like a switch input selector within an input selector. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's a little confusing, but it'll make sense once it's all done. So this is input one. This basically uh, is connects to the output of the, the sit box part of this, the sit box panel. And this goes in here and that just comes out of the output. And the output just goes into the main board here. I don't even think this thing has a main board. Everything is freaking main. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this second part here, the stack an input switcher, which is a manual switcher which is switches between the aux input and the tape input from the DIN, the DIN connector. And that then goes into input two. So then you have a switcher from here as well. So yeah, this is just like, sorts out all the inputs, this, this thing here. So I've connected that. I'm just gonna connect two wires from here, going, you know, just going here, ready for connecting in there. Before we install any more of the, the modules in here, what I want to do is install the top panels first because we need to connect the modules to the buttons. So yeah, we need to just install the buttons first. And the top panel buttons, uh, these are gonna go on top and I'm gonna, you know, bite the bullet and freaking hot glue them. <laughs> the reason why hot glue is because hot glue, this um, printouts require, uh, sorry, these printouts, react really well with hot glue. Literally, it's like uh, the VU meters, these. I have no shame to say that I stuck these with hot glue. And they literally almost feel like epoxy resin. There's, these are not coming out anymore. <laughs> so I have to be careful not to blow them or anything. Because <laughs> I'm screwed if I do. <laughs> so yeah, I think hot glue for this is probably ideal. Hot glue, I don't like using hot glue for everything. I have a bit of a, you know, it feels a bit cheap, but it has its place. The potentiometers and stuff, the, we're gonna put like six potentiometers in here. 
and then you have the switches here. They will mostly, mostly hold it in place. Okay. Yeah, that's literally oh, perfect. Ooh, ooh. Right, what I think one thing we do need hot glue on this is a structure here, like a little bit of a from the other spare. Yes. So it, it has a, a stronger because this is quite bendy. So I have a structure like like that stuck here just to kind of make it more secure. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's basically that's done. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. What I'm gonna have to do, unfortunately, is get rid of these not this not this line, but the record layer wine and all that stuff, yeah. And the two drill the two for the uh, Dolby and the reverb there. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna get some acid on for that. Why does it didn't take that off? Yeah, it does. Trust oh, me, okay. it does. Oh, okay. <laughs> big style. Big style? Big time. time. Yes. <laughs> big style. Uh, no, big, big style from now on, okay? <laughs> okay, big style then. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep acid on away from these freaking panels, so first things first. It's a real shame that I have to rub these uh, this lettering off because, you know, I'd like to have kept it, but it Trust me, with the new freaking buttons that are going to be here, it's going to be a head mash. And besides, I need to install two buttons here anyway, so... Yeah, it's just going to be a head mash. I'm not going to, you know, delete the... I'm not going to rub out this nice line wait, though. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, as long as you don't get the record. Cool. I saw it just ahead. <laughs> there you go. I already see it. Rubbing off. Oh, that stinks! Wow. There's no idea this is so effective. This is scary stuff. I just hope I, I don't, you know, the plastic. The plastic's okay. Because it's crazy, it's rubbing the plastic off. Okay. Uh, IP is that a bottle? I feel more safer with IP than I do with acetone, to be honest. Yeah, it's doing it. Look at that. It's the white lettering that's like mixed in with the plastic, isn't mm -hmm. it? There's a part of that that goes down, which is gonna be a pain. Because we are covering up like a huge tuning knob kind of place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there we go. Should be all. Oh, good. this one will be easy. Yeah, just let it dry for a second. These are all now done. You can see the uh, the panel here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just very carefully hot glue this. And normally I'm going to hot glue this where it dips down here. You see the dip here, the circle. And then uh, you have this bit here. That's all I need. I mean the the insides, the underneath holes, they can be big as long as the panel holes are right. That's where the potentiometers and the switches are going to anchor onto this panel, which is fine. The hot glue, it will adhere to it and you cannot get it off. That's the thing. It's almost like permanent freaking epoxy kind of thing going on here. So It's pretty strong. You kind of, I mean, it really, with the, um, this plastic, 
it really reacts and it's so support it kind of pours in a way that's probably why it gets right into the grooves yeah, yeah. gets right into the grooves so now that these are on very solidly what I'm going to do is install the actual switches here not the potentiometers but the switches themselves so that I can continue with the wiring inside and actually I'm gonna have to dust it on inside of it because um, of the, the plastic the switches the buttons I should say mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now I'll clean this workbench up and I will continue with the um, the wiring here. And the installing of the fair stuff. So we can access to these things now. We find the center of this which is um, I'm gonna put the buttons in and all the drilling just now while we while we just wanna get over and done with it to be honest before we to the circuit and everything. So that's 113.97. Is it just you want divided by two? Yeah, no, no. Uh, just to find the center first. Let's find the center first. Okay. I'm just 57. Right You're going the wrong way. No, too far. <laughs> Shut up, you freak. Right, there. That's enough. There, there. Happy pee off. Actually, that's pretty much accurate. <laughs> Definitely from this, from the center, so you want about one centimeter, I guess. So I think ten, let's try ten ten. Uh, from these dotted lines. Yeah, from these, from this, this dashed dotted line, and to this. I think. What's the place it's like? Hmm. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. What did you do? <laughs> I punched in the answer. <laughs> <laughs> 13 point and then to put in the, uh, the, the half of it, I put the actual answer in instead. <laughs> it was, it was the answer. I put the answer in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're trying to f***ing gaslight the calculator. <laughs>
next part of the circuit is going to be this main board or main board. There's a lot of main boards as I said. It doesn't feel like, I mean it's like half of it. Anyway, it's the biggest board so I'll call it the main one. So that I'm going to put in. Here. Yeah, that should be good. And this, I guess, I can actually fix it on because I can access all the um, the parts easy. Like the oh no, maybe not that one. Actually, before I fix it on, I'll, I'll just make sure everything's right before I fix it. On. I don't want to regret I'm having to take and then have to take it out. The FX board. Yeah, that would go here. So I'm fixing this and it feels like a bit of a freaking rat's nest at the moment. <laughs> that looks like one. <laughs> The reverb and Dolby switches now. So I'm just <coughs> cutting some wires here. That's the reverb switch. And that's the Dolby switch, yeah. Or probably the other way around, either way. That's all for today. Uh, I will do the. I will continue with the other parts of the assembly in the next video. So thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. I wish to say a big thank you to all my patrons, especially my top tier patrons: Electronscape, Axel Dominator, Rich Carboot, Aaron Metcalf, Camel Tech, and Chris Sabalinski.